More than 10 million acres of U.S. land are suspected of having unexploded ordnance. Cleaning up the munitions could cost the government tens of billions of dollars. James Williams shows us how one military installation is reducing the cost while protecting lives. Cape Cod. Beautiful beaches, breathtaking views, and hundreds of potentially explosive weapons. The deserted firing ranges at Camp Edwards are home to an unknown number of unexploded ordnance, or UXO. This range, known as Tank Alley, contains anti-tank rounds that have not exploded. Deaths caused by UXO are rare, but workers here are not taking any chances. They're using equipment like this to search for World War II era munitions buried underground. And as you can see, there's no driver. Ray Dupuy controls tree cutting tractors and UXO clearing vehicles remotely from inside a control room, which looks a lot like a TV news satellite truck. From here, Dupuy can safely maneuver the vehicles thanks to the robotics equipment attached to them. Dupuy says it's a lot like playing a video game. With a million dollar piece of equipment. This is fun. This is a fun job, yes sir. Why is that? Because every day is something different. You don't know what's down there and um, you're always uncovering just something new. And, and you're saving lives too. The robotics gear saves the Army money as well. Clearing UXO manually can cost the Army about $1 million an acre. But with robotics, it can cost just $100,000 an acre. James Williams, Cape Cod, Massachusetts.